converting impedances from a delta connected from a delta connection to a y connection or from a y connection to a delta connection is analogous to what we saw um, when we were dealing strictly with uh, resistances and again what we mean when we say that one say the y circuit is consistent or is equivalent to a delta connection by that we mean that the impedance seen looking in between any two terminals is the same whether it is connected in Y or connected in delta. And you'll, when you compare these with those that we saw with working with straight resistances, you'll see that the same, um, the same relationships hold. On this side here, we have the, the Y to delta connection. And here we have converting delta connected load to a Y connected load. So the Y connected load impedances are Z1, Z2, and Z3. The delta connected are Z sub A, Z sub B, and Z sub C, where Z1 is connected to node 1, Z2 is connected to node 2, Z3 is connected to node 3, and Z sub A is the impedance opposite the number 1 terminal. Z sub B is the impedance opposite the number 2 terminal, and Z sub C is the impedance opposite the third terminal. Now these become interesting, um, even more interesting than they, than they already are, under the circumstances when Z1 equals Z2 equals Z3, or you've got a balanced three-phase load. Under those circumstances, when Z1 equals Z2 equals Z3, we'll call that Z sub Y. When that is the case, then Z sub A equals Z sub B equals Z sub C. We'll call that Z delta is equal to, um, if these Z's are the same, you have 1, 2, 3, Z sub Y squared divided by Z sub Y. So Z delta then is equal to 3 times Z Y. And over here you do a similar situation where Z sub A equals Z sub B equals Z sub C equals, call that again, Z delta. Then Z1 will equal Z2 will equal Z3, call that Z Y. And that is then, here you'd have Z delta squared over 3 Z delta, or Z sub Y then is equal to Z delta divided by 3.